today I have a very sad video uh, to show and to share. And um, so there's a fella, a young fella from my county um, that uh, a couple of years ago, they found out he had leukemia and he has been fighting leukemia for uh, two, two and a half years. I'm not really sure how long, maybe a little longer than that. I'm, I may be off on my dates, but um, his name is Hudson Pace. And um, there is a YouTube, uh, there is a Facebook uh, channel that uh, was made for Hudson. Uh, he went to St. Jude Hospital in Memphis and uh, he's been fighting this leukemia for this long and they had different treatments that they tried. Uh, the Facebook page is Healing for Hudson with a, a four, uh, a number four, Healing for Hudson. And um, I've been following the Facebook page for about a year. Um, and during that time, uh, his mother, um, very strong, being very strong through it all, has posted updates on him throughout this time. And the past year that I've watched it, um, I know that he's touched my life. Um, the, the, the Facebook posts that his mother has made has touched my life. Uh, because a couple of times when I was down and out, and feeling sorry for myself, you know, you get on a pity party because something goes wrong. Um, you know, the washer breaks down and the car ain't running right. And you just get on a little pity party for yourself. And several times over the past year that that has happened to me, I was having my own little pity party. And one of his posts would pop up. His mother would update on him and that would pop up on my Facebook and it would really make me realize how little and insignificant my problems were. And it really helped me through some times. And I've heard several other people with the same type of story. I've heard several people who uh, some way or somehow um, this boy has touched their life, you know, and our whole community, really. Um, a lot of the kids, uh, I believe he's somewhere around 15, 16 years old. Uh, I don't know ex exact age, but uh, somewhere around the age of my uh, one of my granddaughters. Um, so, they had really thought that he, um, they had found a promising cure out in um, another state and they had sent him out there for this um, um, treatment that they really thought was it was a new treatment that was promising and they sent him out there for that and um, while he was out there the short time he was out there ready for that treatment they found more leukemia in his spine and everybody was just heartbroken. So they sent him back to St. Jude in Memphis to decide on, I don't know, more treatment or what to do. And we just found out uh, a day or two ago, um, the post, his aunt had posted that all the treatments had been exhausted. All treatment had been exhausted and they had nothing else they could do. And he is coming home today. And uh, there's been a lot of people praying for this young boy. A lot of people have prayed. Um, there's been many fundraisers and different things that people have done for him. And uh, so I'm going to show you what our county, what our community is doing for this young man coming home. 
this is just another example of how much this community is uh, caring, how caring and loving and um, mm, supportive our community can be. And it always is. There's always been occasions that this community has really pulled together and done things. And uh, I'm going to show you a video here of uh, what they're doing today for his uh, coming home. Anyway, uh, also this boy is, uh, him and his, his family are farmers and uh, farm uh, land here. And um, um, he loves uh, tractors. And uh, anyway, so here's what this community has come out to do for him uh, today and he'll be coming by any time. I'm sitting here waiting and watching. He'll be coming by any time. So people are parked all along the highway, um, all the way down to the school. They're going to start at the school, and way up there at the school are a whole bunch of um, tractors and um, fire trucks, ambulance, rescue squad. Even some semis have come to join in, and uh, it's very touching. Uh, lots of tractors everywhere. Um, they'll be coming up this road here into our county, and uh, when they come by the school, people are going to join in and uh, um, escort them uh, home. So uh, that's what all these people are here watching for and supporting their signs and a lot of the businesses have their signs say um saying stuff like um we love you hudson and balloons all the way down all the way back in here there's people lined up down the highway waiting
the welcome home anybody wanted, but for sure, a wonderful welcome home from a community who loves them. tractors as far as I can see. All the way up to the school. Still coming. for turning out for this little fella. Awesome. Still tractors as far as I can see. Bones. Bless their hearts. tractors back there. Man. I know we're a farming community, but my goodness, at the tractors. <laughs> I think everybody brought the tractors out. Combines. Planners, everything they had. The little fella driving that one. Young fellas driving some of these. 
place. characters. I think they have the traffic blocks, so all of these semis are actually came out for, uh, for this, because they've got the traffic block back there.
trucks. More farm trucks coming. Here comes the uh, rescue squad and the ambulance. And I believe that's the ambulance he's in right here coming. It is, it is. This is the ambulance he's in right there. Acadian, that's the ambulance he's coming home in. So the family will be right behind that. the family and here's some of the more family police police leading them out and I believe that's about it still police so that's probably about it yeah I think they're letting traffic through now so there you go that's what Ballard County Ballard County, Kentucky, that's what, how they support a brave warrior.